Hi, NASCO has over a hundred different artworks lesson plans available on NASCO education and also as part of our K to Career Resource Center NASCO Educate. We recently created some student project guides for sort of a, a quick way for students to visually see how the lesson was, something that could easily be used in a virtual setting. And we did a how-to video on the animated tree lesson plan. The other exciting part was we realized that some of these lesson plans are directly related to social and emotional learning. Today I have Jenny Kay with me to share how we developed a little bit further to help you some SEL power-ups. Jenny, talk a little bit about how the power-ups came to be and the questions that you would ask as it applies to this lesson plan. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, the, these lesson plans have been around for a long time. Um, we know, Chris certainly knows, she tells me this all the time, I love hearing it, that SEL happens in the art room all the time, always has. Um, having students express themselves creatively, having those conversations, it's, it's there. So what we did uh, earlier uh, this year, we were able to sit down and have some time to really let that breathe. So those social emotional learning themes using especially Castle's core competencies of self-management, self-awareness, social awareness, responsible decision making, and relationship skills, really looking at these lesson plans and pulling them forward with what we called our SEL power up reflections. So for this SEL power up reflection, we're really empowering your students, empowering you to have this conversation that somewhat led to make sure that it, it really hits those themes in a really strong way. You're having those conversations anyways, but this is a great way to go to your administration and say, absolutely, we're doing SEL. Um, so for this lesson plan, especially because it is about that emotion and how we emote. Uh, the, the questions really do focus on how you choose those feelings. You know, why does your tree feel that way? What vibes are you giving? What colors are you using? And thinking about how we read those situations to really look for that social emotional engagement. This particular lesson plan was developed by Noelle Burns, and she was an elementary school teacher in Watertown, Wisconsin. She developed it for elementary, but because of, like, for, for grade level purposes, you know, a, a, a tree often starts off as like a lollipop tree. And so she wanted to teach students that, you know, using V's and Y's, you could then create a little, a, a much better tree. And I have that mixed up a little bit. You could, you could create a tree that's going to be a little bit more re realistic. Well, then she started realizing how much fun would it be to put a face on a tree. Some people remember Wizard of Oz, remember the faces on the trees, and then they were not happy that Dorothy was eating her, their apples. And so you start looking, and it's amazing how many littles made like angry trees because they had the notion of Wizard of Oz. However, they had some great discussion, too, about where is your tree, what kind of tree is it, what animals live in trees, which also could then start talking a little bit about social and emotional. Well, and also, you know, what are those emotions that you're linking to this idea of forests? Um, you know, those angry faces when you don't have any leaves on your trees and it's dark out, you know, we have this kind of ominous feeling that comes from, from some of those trees. And then it makes sense that maybe you have an angrier or scarier face on it. Um, so kind of reading those situations, those colors, and recognizing, um, you know, how, how different people react to the same image in different ways. Um, that social awareness that some people are not comfortable in, in the wilds of the country um, and, and other people embrace it. Seasons too. Yeah. Like the student had the option for, like you said, the background and using the colors, you know, is this a sunrise? Is this a sunset? Is it fall? Is it spring? Is it winter? Um, and maybe if it's winter, maybe it's a very playful tree because 
they're going to see a snowman built and they're going to finally have some friends around them <laughs> besides squirrels. And so just, just kind of that opportunity for students to really connect with their artwork in a way that is meaningful and in a way that helps them express who they are. Sometimes it comes in the learning aspect of it too. Absolutely. You know, um, I think that falls under the um, self-management you know, if, if the tree didn't go your way, you know, do you crumple up the paper and get frustrated or do you problem solve? And I love that about art because it involves critical thinking and creativity and collaboration and communication along with the SEL power-ups yeah. that give that student that opportunity to learn those um, castle skills. Yeah. So there is, a, like I said, a full demonstration on you know, the products that we're using and um, you know, the steps, but really we wanted to focus a little bit more on the social emotional part of it because we know that when you can connect art um, with the other curriculum and with SEL, it adds value to art education. Thank you so much for all you do.